Hey guys! I am back again, woo woo! And today I was figuring that I have been answering all of your awesome questions about live showing. So today I think it's your turn to answer some of my questions about Briarfest. Because poor Wild Spirit has never, ever, ever been to Briarfest and I'm going in a couple of years and I need to know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> and I have a list of questions here. So lots of goodies for you. So if you know anything about Briarfest, I don't have too many questions to ask. They're more kind of simple ones that I haven't been able to find anywhere else. So let's see what, just see what you can answer. And if you can answer anything awesome, thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you in a couple of years at Briarfest. That will be pretty amazing. All right, so question number one. All right, so when you're paying for special runs, um, is it better to pay with cash or a card? Do they accept credit and debit cards at the special run thing? Or is it like the clarion where it's like, oh, bring cash, bring cash, don't do card. I don't know, I'm trying to decide how much money I need to save up and if I need to figure special runs into that cash saving or keep that cash for other stuff. Okay, and where are the store specials located in the Briar store? Like Tennessee Titan and Lady C, like they're this year. Where in the Briar store are they? Are like, they, is it like a bin when you first walk in or is it way, way back at the little register area? I just need to know where I'm gonna look because when I go through the end pod, that's the first thing I'm gonna go to or at least try to. All right, and for the special number, I'm on number three right now, um, for the special run line, now, I have a friend that's coming with me in 2016, and what if she does not have my same time slot, like maybe hers is a couple hours later or something, and I have my ticket that I'm going up to do, is if she's not going to buy anything, like maybe if once I get to the very front she sits out by the door or whatever, is she okay to wait in line with me so I don't have to leave her all alone somewhere? <laughs> or does she have to go be left alone somewhere? I don't know. Um, can she stand in line with me is my basic question as long as she's not buying something. Is that gonna make people mad or <laughs> I don't know. Okay, number four. <laughs> when are the dates announced for the next year's Briarfest? Are they announced before Briarfest? Like say this year at Denim and Diamonds, is it gonna be released like a week or so before Briarfest? Is it gonna be released at Briarfest or will it be a couple weeks after Briarfest? Just need to know how long I need to wait because I want to know when the dates are so I can re start booking my hotels for when I go because the Clarion books up fast and that's where I want to stay so, <laughs> so there's that one. Um, also three-day tickets. I'm planning on buying like three of the three-day tickets so obviously you know I need an adult ticket and I've heard that some people, like, if they're buying multiple tickets, they'll do one adult ticket for themselves, and then they'll buy, like, two or three children's tickets. Is that even okay? Or am I actually allowed to do that as long as I buy one adult ticket? I, I don't know what that one is. I just need to know if that's okay at all and if I can actually do that or if I should just buy all that <laughs> falling or if I should just buy all adult tickets. I mean, that's probably what I'll do unless I can get it really, really cheap by buying children's tickets, but I don't know. And do children's tickets also get special runs? If so, that'd be awesome. Um, and question number six. In Kentucky, now I live here in Utah where, I mean, in the summertime we get like triple digits and stuff like that, but it's crazy dry. Like here, if it gets anything above 30% humidity, Utahns like die. We don't know what to do. <laughs> so my question for you is around Briarfest time that week in July, what's the average temperature in Lexington? And what's the humidity? Is it like 80, 100% humidity? Cause I really need to prepare for that. <laughs> so that's that question. And Finally, my last question that I have for now, if I come up with any more, I'll make other videos and 
have fun with that. But my last question, number seven, in the park is outside food allowed? Am I allowed to bring like a backpack full of food in so I don't have to leave every so often to go get food where it's less expensive? Or can I just bring a bunch of snacks into the into the park? Is that okay? Because I know some parks don't allow you to have outside food. So I just need to know that one. I know they let you bring water bottles. Everyone says you're okay, you can go do that. Blah, 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 blah. But I need to know if you can bring outside food because I don't want to pay for food in the park. So that sounds expensive. <laughs> okay, so I think that's everything that I can think of right now. And by the way, if anyone's wondering, I'm going in 2016. So I mean, it's like three and a half years, but I am going in 2016. So I am looking forward to meeting you all. That'll be super, super fun. And I'm driving. So that's going to be even more fun. And I'm going to document a lot of it the whole way. I'm going to be like, Whoa, look at the road. Look at the road. Yay. Can you tell I'm spazzy right now? Okay. So there's that. Again, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. If I can think of something else, I'm going to make another video for you. And if anyone can answer any of my questions, I would appreciate that very, very, very much because I am obsessive and need to know everything before I go. <laughs> All right, um, I'll be back in a little bit. I actually have a tag I'm going to do next. So that'll be super fun. Bye-bye.